Okay, so my first attempt at this, okay, so my first attempt at this, I quite failed because I didn't turn on my my mama. I didn't turn on my mic. So we are here now. We're trying to model a mong a mongoose schema. So here we want to export default. I think it was. I want we want to export default mongoose model. We want to model model it as user and give it the user schema. So we're all happy there. And then here at index.ts we have our MongoDB URI and I am pretty pretty sure this is safe to expose. Otherwise yeah. Uh we're going to con we connected to Mon Mongoose in a pre in a previous video. And I want to make a post route. Create user slash create. response and let's just wait for me to type okay so I think this is good already so what I did was I did I put some middlewares that I think it's required for posting and we created a, a post route and we got the username and password from it and we created it created a new user from that username and password note I didn't note that I didn't hash the password but you should hash your password and then I console log the user and then I just await uh, await save the user save the new created user and then send an ok message but I'm just gonna return JSON new user and let's go to postman and send John and as you can see John is here let's see if he's actually in our database that's weird Let's open up this. Let's open up the terminal and just write um, LDB. Until you forgot. Um, I think it was aggregate. No, find find one. One is not a function. Okay, that's weird. Weird. So it's not in our database. What's happening here? So I definitely know that this is not what we created because this is what I created before but hold on I know I could just oh okay that would make sense hmm if it's saved let's see you can just app.get so app.get and I'll be back so moment of truth See if this works. I want to get. Error. Wow. I know, it's all. My bad. Okay, so. Wow. Yeah, something is wrong. Hmm, maybe you said a new database would be better. So I'm so I made or uh, I made a new database, but I'm not sure if this works because I haven't 
is MongoDB locally that much, only MongoDB Atlas. So let's get rid of this and let's create a new user. Postman post create. Let's create John and let's you know let's get. Yeah, so it works now. So it's just here. You now have a new new database with John here. So it was just my my dumbass fucking fucking this fucking all of this up. So so now we know how to create a new user with this and now we know how to how we can request all the users I guess I, I should show you how to find a user given a username or ID so now we have now we have a way to find a user just find one user given a username so this is all this is saying is that let's just find one user from from the user with a given username and then we're going to respond with this user okay so we're going to find john or i guess we we should find waldo right <laughs> not funny let's find john send and we found john yay okay so so I was about to say I, sh I should I should show you how to put mock data mock data to your to a database. So let's hon let's hon let's head on to our browser. So we're here at Mockaroo, and this is not by def this is not the default of Mockaroo. Actually, you this actually I'm just going to reload this page to show you how to do it. So we're going to delete all unnecessary fields and then we're going to add a field called password and then the first name field should be name uh, aligning with our schema, right? We have only the username so username instead of name So we're going to search password a random string of 6 to 12 characters, yeah. And then option says just leave that default. Then we're going to get 100 rows instead of 1000 rows. And just download data. So now we're at MongoDB Compass. And let's go to our use our new database and go to users and just click add data import file browse I'm just gonna pause the video so all you want to do is just load in your C your your downloaded mocker mock, mock data and you choose whether it's CSV or JSON which is clearly CSV so it automatically detected CSV. So let's just import this. And click done. And now we have a bunch of data. Yay! So now, what happened? So now we just get all the, the users from the, from the database. So let's just send. <laughs> that in there. So now we have this gigantic piece of I don't know. So what you usually do is you don't want to get all data all users from a database. You want to paginate. So let's just implement that quickly. Um Visual Studio Code and let's go to all and let's just wait for me to type. Okay, I found it. So here we 
All I did was get a que query parameters. Oops, request that says L is basically what L is is basically the limit. Well, it's not limit yet, but let's just say it's the limit. And page P is for page, and SB is for sort by. So I don't know how to do this in Mongoose, or at least I have done this, but I kind of forgot about it. Mostly use Postgres these days. So I definitely know it's user dot find. So don't think we need sort by because what this sort by is is basically to determine if if we should sort by date or popularity which I needed to use in a previous project but it's not really needed for this one and we're just going to sort by descending I guess by descending yeah so all we did here was limit is limit the number of queries and skip no in a, in a number of documents and that number of documents is based on limit and page so it's big so how that works is basically in page zero in page one or zero in page zero or in page one that's in page one we actually wait now oh wait no it starts at zero so at page zero, we we don't we don't skip anything. Don't skip. But at page one, we skip skip based on limit base limit, and then multiply multiply right, and then we want to sort this in. And let's just get rid of this. So all we have to do, all we have to do is test this out and go to Postman and see. Okay, there's something wrong. Okay, there's something. Oh, this this not sort. That's not sort. <laughs> That's not sort. Okay. I just send and see that it's only 10. I think it's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, it's only 10 documents. And if we want to... What am I doing? And then if we want to query... Let's say we want to query the second. L equals... L equals uh, 5. And... Page is two. So yeah, here's how we do pagination.